Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. So today's video, we're gonna be working on this sketch right here from Freshly Made Sketches, and this is number 410. And it's very simple, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button, the notification bell next to it, so that way you get alerts whenever I upload new content. So on this particular one, I wanted to show you there's still ways that you can use a simple sketch and have it have a lot of impact okay so we got a few full pages left and then we got our stack of scraps now i'm going to pull this over i've already um, cut my mat which is the black paper and then our pattern paper here is at four and no the pattern paper is four inches by five and a quarter and it's going to attach to the black mat at four and one eighth by five and three eighths. Those are my standards. Um, I like the bigger uh, borders, you know what I mean? Like if, if I wanted more of like a quarter of an inch around, then I would make like the black, I would leave it at four and an eighth by five and three eighths, but I would just make the pattern paper, I would cut it smaller so it would have more of a border. But I like just a thin border on mine. So I'm figuring out where exactly I wanna put my ribbon. Cause as you could tell, this is the last video in this series. And this whole month we've been using up the ribbon that I've gotten in the mail from my little scrapbook store. And it's been vibrant and colorful and it just goes really well with this particular paper collection so i've had a lot of fun using it this month and then just like with all the other ones i do put a little bit of double-sided tape down on where the ribbon is so that way i know that it's more secure up against the um the card base and i just normally use um, my pokey tool, sometimes I can do the scissors, but for whatever reason, it was just giving me a little bit of trouble this time, but it helps, especially if you don't have nails, the use the pokey tool, it definitely uh, helps get those little backings off. So now we're going to attach it to our A2 size card, which is uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. That's the standard A2 size. And... Now I'm going to do my favorite thing, which is just tie a knot. And then I take the two ends and put them together. And then I'm going to cut them on an angle. And boom. That way it fits right there on the page and there that part is finished. Now for this one, there's no measurements on this particular sketch. Um, so I first cut the square that I'm putting down. I want to say I cut it at like two by two, but it was a little too big behind the other square because I had made the one on the back two by two and then I made the big square three by three and it was just too big. It was covering up too much of the, the card front. So I cut them both down. Um, I want to say by a half an inch. And then um, it seemed to fit just right in the right spot, giving me enough space to put my doodle pop and then have a sentiment right below it. So now I'm trying to peel it off. What I like about doodle pops is sometimes they have um, an enamel finish. Like it has sort of like they put um, glossy accents on it. And then um, I also like that they use foam little foam squares it gives it like a little bit of adhesive well adhesive it gives it that dimensional hence the title doodle pops and then i like the sentiment with the plain white and then i realized you know what i need to put it on just a little bit of a background just so that way it, it pops off so i found one of my strips and it fit perfectly which is amazing on the first try and we're gonna grab our foam, which is right next to me. And I wanna say this one was is a piece of uh, tailored expression foam, the foam strips. I like using those. I've also had the Doris 
version and for it being little foam strips they do give a lot of height so then we're going to kind of find the center make sure it's nice and even on both sides and then press down as long as you don't press it down you can kind of move it around um, as necessary before it actually adheres so to keep it down in the center so it stops moving i'm going to put a little glue dot right underneath our knot and then there is the card. I like how that turned out. And then I decided, you know what? I'm gonna grab some of the Nouveau drops and I'm gonna put three dots right along the left-hand side. It was the area where I had the most space. So that's where I put them. Then we're gonna tap, let them go flat. And then there is our card. And then I'm gonna grab this one over. This one I did off camera and I didn't think about doing the Nouveau drops until like just now, literally just now, um, when I started putting them on the card. So we're gonna tap. And then one of the um, dots actually wound up having like a bubble. So you can see here, I go back in and I try to kind of fill in the bubble and fix the shape and then tap a little bit just to give it a little bit more even. So there's our two projects. And they're super cute. Quick, easy, you know, we use two full um, card base, card, yeah, card stock for the bottom. So we got a pattern paper and then we're able to use the scraps to create our two squares for our doodle pops to sit on. Perfect. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share button. And please hit the little notification bell so that way whenever I upload new content, you guys will get alerts and you'll know when new videos go live or when I go live on my channel. So thanks again, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this series for the month of July and I can't wait to see you in August. Have a great weekend.